Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Amy Claude. I am the acting member services at the Institute of Certified Public Accountant. I am the host today. Today we are privileged to be here in one of the most serene environments in this beautiful country of Rwanda. Our discussion this morning is uh, the topical discussions, the trending focus around uh, the glo uh, global climate change and also sustainability and how we need to take action and they put it very well. It is our action or inaction that will impact not only the environment but also how our businesses will survive going forward. Uh, we are going to be looking at uh, our business transformation. And uh, John, to kick start off, to, to kick start us off on this uh, in this conversation, uh, you know, people hear that word business transformation. Uh, to a layman, what is uh, business transformation? So I think um, it's. I think when we talk about uh, business transformation, I'm sure most of us in the room think about different things, right? Um, but I think even before you talk about business transformation. Uh, a lot of times we even hear about transformation that is on a personal level. You know, we've had uh, spiritual transformation, we've had uh, transformation um, on an individual level, whether it is economically or financially. And I think at the end of the day, all transformation is about change. Uh, because without change, then you don't transform. I think business transformation is uh, comes about due to different reasons, right? And uh, I like also what John said, it depends on the objective or what's triggering it to happen. Now, often it could be externally led. For example, the market drives you to change. I mean, we've recently seen that, uh, for example, with COVID, businesses have to now change their models because it was an external force that actually forced that change to happen. 